35 minutes after 7 o'clock, Rebot High School students are settling into a new routine this morning. They are now required to walk through metal detectors after a student brought a gun to school Friday and another student was shot in the arm. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is live at Rebot. Ashley, the first bell rang just a few minutes ago. Zach and Jennifer, yes, good morning to you both. Yes, the school bell rang just a little while ago, but looking over here, you can see that the metal detectors is causing things to uh, take a little bit longer. I know we're across the street for our safety, but looking over there, you can see there is a line of students slowly going in there. They've been standing there for several minutes now at this point. Now that the sun is up, we're better able to see them. You can see it is a parked park, uh, excuse me, a packed parking lot. And looking all the way over to the right, we do want to show you the other side of the building right there. There you can see that the school district police are on campus and more students are starting to make their way in. You can see they've got their masks and their backpacks on. They undoubtedly are going to be going through those metal detectors as well. Now this is some new video we shot this morning. This was first thing this morning, so the sun was not up yet, but it was starting to show that rush to get onto campus and for those students to go through metal detectors. We saw quite a few officers with the school district police department getting everything ready. Now school police said that incident last Friday happened around 2 o'clock near the field house. Now, sources told News for Jacks the 18-year-old student who's now been identified by those sources as Christopher Castor brought the gun to school and was showing it off. That's when it was fired and hit another student in the arm. That student was taken to the hospital. Now we are told that random backpack searches have actually been going on throughout the year, but now these extra security measures are in place. Now the principal shared a message to parents shortly after the shooting. This is what he said. I'm very disappointed. I can even say that I'm angry, but I'm mad all as well. But I know that what happened today, it does not represent our students here at John Rebo High School. And once again, this is a process that students are now getting used to. More students are making their way up. You know, it is now 738. The school bell, at least according to the website, says technically rang at 715 this morning. So this is a process and the first day that they are doing it. Now, also as of this morning, Castor is still inside the Duval County Jail being held on $50,000 bond. We have learned that he does play football here at Gene Rebolt Senior High School. Of course, we're staying on top of this story. We will keep you updated with new details that do come in on this on these developments. Reporting live on the north side, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station.